thing. It's basically slowed down so, uh, to such a speed that it's free falling into the lunar surface. But of course, it's not a free fall, it's a controlled fall. It's controlled fall yeah. because there are thrust uh, on, on board to control its speed. But the speed is now uh, 20 seconds, it will travel 600 meters. We can see the attitude control sensors are working. All these animation. So uh, the attitude control engine and yes. are working, are kicking uh, because it controls the speed of our landing. Well, this is the camera uh, yes. on on the landing. On the descending camera. This is the first picture of the moon taken by Chang'e 3. Well, it seems uh, pretty close already. We can see the lunar surface very clearly. Yes, it is uh, only. Uh, few kilometers above the lunar surface. And because there is no atmosphere, so it's a very clear image. And it is daytime. And it's also daytime. The lighting is, uh, is perfect for... Um, the lighting is uh, is perfect for a uh, picture taking. This is a picture taken by Chang'e Three of the lunar surface. I suppose is already above the Bay of Rainbow. Yes, it is in the morning of the Rainbow Bay. The, the, the picture was sent back uh, 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 pi uh, pixel by pixel because it's a mm. slow sending back. But there is an onboard recording system that will record the whole the process, the whole process, and then send back to Earth later. So we will have a like a real time. So image. this is not a real time video, but a frame by frame picture. It's a frame by frame sending back uh, by the probe because uh, there is a uh, now a it has already decided on its landing side, and it will be in its hovering stage, which means it will hover a hundred meters above the lunar surface. And it seems uh, Chang'e has already decided on its location of landing. This procedure is similar to that of the Apollo 11 mission. Mr. Uh, Neil Armstrong chose the uh, landing site different from the uh, designed one because mm -hmm. the designed one is not flat enough. Mm -hmm. uh, but this time they choose the landing site by the probe itself. So we need a more. We, we don't have a, a landing site uh, chosen beforehand. We well, don't have. We have a designed landing site, but uh, maybe it is not good, perfect enough. Because so we don't know what the lunar surface yes, is like exactly. Mm. Well, we are above the lunar surface, 100 meters. That's very close. That's 100 meters. That's the distance China is going to travel until it landed on the moon. And it is descending from 100 meters to 30 meters about the lunar surface. And you are seeing the live feed from Chang'e probe. This is the pictures taken on the camera uh, of Chang'e 3 of the lunar surface. And these are the last 30 minutes for the journey of Chang'e 3 until it landed on the moon.
While it is hovering again, it landed on the moon. Chang'e 3 is on the moon. The first Chinese lunar probe is on the surface of our celestial neighbor, the moon. Chang'e has landed. Looking very stable. Well, it seems that Chang'e is in good shape. Everything is perfect until now. This is the ch first Chinese vehicle to land on a celestial body. This is still the landing camera that is working on the onboard the probe. But you can see a shadow of this probe um, uh, is, you know, you can see uh, the surface.